early spring is a magical time. Trees start to bud, wildflowers start to pop up, and even fairies start to appear. But they might not be the fairies that you're imagining. Instead of flitting among the wildflowers, they swim upside down. And instead of beautiful wings, they have 11 sets of beautiful legs. Why? Because they're shrimp. Fairy shrimp! In this mini episode of Pop Wild, we'll take a closer look at these curious crustaceans and find out why they're actually magical. Fairy shrimp are relatives of the shrimp and crabs you might find at the grocery store, but they look quite different. They're tiny, about half an inch to an inch long, semi-transparent, and usually orange or pink in color. You'll sometimes find them in woodland ponds, even before the ice melts. They have long tails with a V-shape at the end, which kind of makes them look like little fish skeletons. Their eyes sit at the end of stalks, like many other crustaceans, and they're filter feeders, eating things like algae and bacteria. They might also look familiar for different reasons. They're the freshwater relatives of brine shrimp, otherwise known as sea monkeys. Both brine shrimp and fairy shrimp produce two different kinds of eggs. The first kind of egg is meant to hatch right away. The second kind of egg, called a cyst, is meant to last a long time. These eggs are hard and durable and exist in a state of dormancy called cryptobiosis. And they can stay in this state for many years as long as they're kept safe and dry. This is how sea monkey eggs can so easily get packaged and transported. And in fact, sea monkey eggs are so durable, they've been on two different space missions. For freshwater fairy shrimp, the hatching of these durable cyst eggs depends on the existence of vernal pools. Vernal pools are seasonal, temporary ponds that usually appear in the spring and are fed by rain and melting snow. When these vernal pools start to fill up, the dormant fairy shrimp eggs that were laid the year, or even many years before, get immersed in water and hatch. They grow, reproduce, lay eggs, and then the vernal pools dry up. The dormant cysts spend summer and fall in the leaf litter on the forest floor until the vernal pool begins to form again and they can hatch. But why wouldn't fairy shrimp just live in ponds that are around all year? Well, living in a vernal pool is actually an important survival strategy. Fairy shrimp make a great snack for fish, and because vernal pools are small and temporary, they can't harbor fish populations. Fairy shrimp are also adapted for early spring and colder water temperatures. Because they emerge early, they can avoid a plethora of predators like birds and amphibians that warmer temperatures can bring. Vernal pools don't appear every year, and neither do fairy shrimp. Only a small percentage of cyst eggs hatch every year, leaving more eggs for following years as a sort of fairy shrimp insurance. Even in years when they hatch, they're only active adults for a month or two, so it feels pretty special when you find them. Their delicate form and graceful swimming are probably what gave fairy shrimp their name, but it's their unique survival strategies and the vernal pools that they call home that truly make them magical. Next time you're out in February or March, Take a closer look at the ponds you come across, and you might just see these shrimpy swimmers. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, keep it curious.